All right, so just something real quick before I show you guys the card trick. Um, I'm going to be giving a huge shout out to a channel called Frag Thicks. Um, I know them personally, and they make game commentary videos. And, you know, they're really good quality, but their channel is still trying to grow. They're still trying to get known. So it would mean so much to me and, you know, a lot more to them. If you could just click on uh, the link here, go subscribe to them, you know, give them feedback. And um, I think this is something that you guys might like. So, um, you know, check them out. And anyways, guys, here is the video. All right, guys. Uh, so something that I've seen a lot of in the comments is uh, a request for mathematical card tricks. Now, I'm not the biggest fan of them because uh, number one, I don't really know too many of them, and number two, I'm just not that big in. I'm not really that into them. So, anyways, I figured I'd just show this one because I've seen a lot of requests for it. So here's uh, how it's gonna go. I'm just gonna split off the deck into three piles, but the first two are the ones that matter. This one, not so much. So. You can see we have two piles here, one and two. These these are going to be uh, your selection. So selection number one is going to be the two of hearts. Now you're going to have to remember these for the trick. And we'll take the six of spades as well. So your first selection is the two of hearts. And your second selection is the six of diamonds. Now I'm going to go ahead and put these back in the deck uh, in this random order. Okay, so I, I don't really know where they are. But uh, two cards actually do, and that they're going to help me out for the trick. So you can see if I spread the deck like this, we have two jokers. Uh, one is right here, and the other is over there. So these two cards are going to help me uh, with the trick, and here's how it's going to work out. You can see that each of these jokers actually has a number written on them. So this one says 18. And this one says 43. So these are going to give away the positions of your cards that you selected. So if we go over to the deck, you can see the first card should be in the 18th position. So we take 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. Your 18th card is the two of hearts, your first selection. And if we keep going, so this one would be... 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43. This should be the six of spades, your second selection. All right, guys, so this is the trick. I hope you like it, and uh, if you want to learn how to do it, don't forget to stick around for the tutorial. All right, guys, uh, so this is how you do the trick. Um, you're going to need to have two cards, um, like jokers maybe, or aces, it doesn't necessarily matter. But you need to have the numbers 18 and 43 written on them. So I'll leave those face up so you can see them. 18 and 43. And then uh, you're going to want to break off the deck into three piles. Now, this trick is, uh, there is a setup to it, obviously, and here's basically how it goes. So, from left to right, the first packet on the left is going to have nine cards. Okay, so you need to have nine cards on the left and then in the middle you have 18 okay so you have 9 18 and then the pack that on the right should just have the leftover cards so at this point you take um, the joker with 18 on it and you're gonna stick this face up below the packet with 18 cards in the middle and then you take the 43 joker right here leave that face up and then you're gonna go left to right placing the packet of 9 cards on top. So you take nine cards and take the rest of the packet, put it on there. So um, what it looks like is you just should have nine cards right here, the Joker, uh, the 43 Joker, and then you want to have the 18 cards in the middle between them. This is the 18 Joker and then the rest of the cards behind it. So from this point you are ready to go and you're going to tell the spectator that they are going to pick um, a few cards. So basically you tell, um, well you're not going to the spectators pick the cards because what you're going to have to do is you're going to have to break off the deck into three piles. So you don't want to let the spectator cut the deck up because if they do, they might end up cutting the cards uh, to a joker like I just did. Because when the cards are back-to-back, -back, uh, the deck has a natural bend to it. So if the cards are back-to-back, -back, then it's easy to cut straight to a joker. So you don't want to have this happening. So basically, you're just going to tell spectators that you're going to pick a few random cards and you're going to cut up the deck. So First off, you're just going to riffle down, and the first card you're going to pick, or the first uh, part of the deck you're going to break off, is in between the two jokers. So you can riffle down, you can say, okay, so we'll just stop here, I'll break off the deck there. You can ask the spectator, you can say, okay, um, is this good? And the spectator is probably going to say yes, so if they do, you just place the packet right back down here, and you want to make sure that you place the first selection, so you tell the spectators, okay, so here's your first selection, we'll place that here to the left, 
and then again you're gonna riffle down and you're gonna pick another card but you wanna make sure it's past that joker so you can see the jokers right right there so you wanna make sure that you riffle down past it in the lower part of the deck and the spectator you ask them okay is this good you say okay this is your second selection and then you tell them that this packet is irrelevant so you're only you're only really worrying about uh, the packet on the left and the packet on the right so you want to make sure that you know which one is the first selection and which one is the second that's important so you flip over the one on the left and you say look so here's your first selection which is the seven of diamonds and then you flip over the next one and you say this is the two of hearts so you're gonna have to remember these uh, so she tells spectator, okay, so your first selection is the seven of hearts, and your second selection is the two of hearts, or sorry, the seven of diamonds, and then your second selection is the two of hearts. So from here, you tell spectators, all right, so we're, let's go ahead and lose your cards back in the middle of the pack. So you take um, both packets, and you want to make sure you put the first selection in the deck first, and then you take the second selection, and you put that on top. So from here, the deck is, uh, it's almost ready to go. So at this point, you tell spectators, um, Okay, so your cards are now lost in the middle of the deck, but I might have a way of finding them. So what you do is you spread the pack in your reveal two face-up cards. Okay, these are going to be the jokers. And now here's kind of um, the mixing around part you're going to do. You want to come over and you say, look, so these jokers are going to help me find your card. So you want to you want to kind of spread this out a little bit extra. So you spread it out just like that. You take the first joker out. It doesn't really matter what, what you do with it. You just you don't want to flip it over just yet. So we'll leave this out. And you come over to the second joker. You want to spread this out too, and you'll see why. You take it out, and you say, look, so these jokers are going to help me find your card. And now at this point, you can see that there's different sections of the deck where the jokers split up the deck. So you want to take the last portion. So you might have to rewind this after I'm done. But you want to take the last portion of the deck here. And the reason you spread it out, spread the cards out when you're revealing the jokers is because you want to take the last packet here and you're going to push over the front packet like this just kind of put the last packet in the middle square it up take the last packet at the top packet put it back on top okay so you do that kind of subtly you don't mention what you're doing obviously you just you know square up the packet like that and uh, from this point the deck is set okay so if you need to see that again you can rewind it but um, from here on this is what you're going to do um, now the spectator shouldn't really notice anything and then at this point, you say, look, so here's what I mean. These jokers actually have numbers written on them. So you flip them over, and you reveal that one says 18, and one says 43. So you say, okay, so your first selection should be in the 1, and then you start counting down. So you count off 18 cards. So you count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. There's the 7 of diamonds, your first selection. You place that over there, and then you say, okay, so your next card should be in the 43rd. And now when you count, you count from 19, considering uh, you just counted down 18, 18 cards. You count 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, and then 43, their second selection is right there. Alright guys, uh, so that is the trick. Um, you know, this is one of the first mathematical tricks that I've kind of liked because normally I don't like them, but uh, I thought this one was kind of cool. So um, I hope you guys like it, and as always, thanks for watching.